morning. Well, I think we're going to have spring today. I think this is it. It's the end of Antarctica in northern Ontario. <laughs> uh, it's supposed to be up in the 40s today and the 50s tomorrow. So uh, we got the snow on the run now, which is good. Uh, coffee with the Lord this morning. I'm not having coffee, but I am having this. This is uh, lemon water. It's a uh, pretty nice way to start the day. I'm uh, not off coffee. I just, I just drink an enormous amount of it of all kinds. I get that press. Uh, I had espresso yesterday before I went into the garage to do the old bench. And uh, that is a performance enhancing drug to be sure. Somebody once did a, a study on, on that. It was on the CBC radio back when they, they actually would report the news once in a while. And uh, somebody went in to the study with the idea of disproving that coffee improved performance. And they found out that it improves performance physically, mentally, uh, strength, stamina, speed, uh, cognitive ability uh, in an enormous, uh, an enormous amount. So it is actually a performance enhancing drug and it's apparently an antioxidant as well. So coffee down. <laughs> Anyhow, we're uh, just moving and grooving here. The uh, verse for today is 27, Proverbs 27, 4. Wrath is cruel and anger is outrageous, but who is able to stand before envy? Now, the original sin is, uh, it, you know, it, it, tongue in cheek. It's really not ex existent. <laughs> but it was envy, <clears throat> excuse me, it was envy that that hung Jesus Christ on the cross. And it was envy that uh, kicked Lucifer out of, out of the third heaven. And it's envy that will kill millions, billions of people in the tribulation because the Antichrist is going to demand worship. The mark of the beast that's coming up quite soon is an act of worship. Now, uh, it, it didn't, it's not going to happen just overnight. In the tribulation, the Antichrist is going to implement the mark of the beast, which is the number of three six, the six six six, and uh, it's going to be on your forehead or in your hand. And what that is is compliance. Okay. <laughs> Can you draw a parallel in our society today that it it is. Uh, there are things that are pushed as a medical, uh, a medical benefit to the people to keep them safe. The Bible says, when they say they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction shall come upon them. Well, uh, there's you know some things that well for your safety, we insist that you comply with this. You see how they, they're warming up the masses with this. The average person, <clears throat> excuse me, the, the public at large is being conditioned to comply with certain things that are for their, for their own good, for the common good. And that's what the mark of the beast will be. The mark of the beast will be like an economic uh, situation. They'll say, well, this is the, answer to all of our problems nobody's going to get lost in the bush again nobody's going to uh criminals aren't going to be able to get away with crime and uh aged people are not going to wander away that are demented we'll be able to find them children will be able to find them because they'll be chipped and on and on it goes so uh you can see the point for this and if they uh like <clears throat> Some people are wanting to interface, if that's the right word, a computer chip in the brain so they can access the internet with 
their brain at will. Well, you could make this thing, uh, it would be desires to make one wise, like the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. So you see where this is going. Uh, everybody must have the mark in order to be allowed to buy and sell food. And if you're not going to comply, then you are killing your grandmother or you're killing your anti-society, your anti-mark. You're an anti-marker. <laughs> I, I guess uh, that's about as plain as we really want to get, right? So the mark of the beast isn't in, in, uh, in effect now. The rapture of the church happens where the, uh, millions of Christians are going to dis disappear off the face of the earth. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. And then the mark of the beast comes in. But the old proverbial frog boiling slowly on the stove from cold water where he's comfortable to boiling water. And he doesn't really realize it happens so gradually. Well, that's what's going on. So envy. Who is able to stand before envy? Envy and jealousy are two different things. God's name is jealous. God is a jealous God. He's not going to share his people with anybody. Any husband should be a jealous husband. He's not going to share his wife with anybody. I, I, any wife is, is a jealous wife. But envious is different. A envy is, I want what you have, and I'm willing to kill you for it. That's envy. And that's why they killed Jesus Christ on the cross. Okay. Have you been saved? Are you saved? Have you trusted Jesus Christ as your Savior? You turn to God. It's called repentance. And you believe that Jesus Christ died for you on the cross. He, he died for your sins. He was buried and he rose again the third day. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved.